What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I just picked up this Kydex holster for my P365. I wanted to show you this holster because I just got it. And what makes this uh, P365 interesting, it's in Coyote, beautiful, safety check, but you're going to have to take my word for it, um, is the fact that I have this Foxtrot 365 light on it, which is awesome, did a review on that. Now, the Lima Laser, I think, is the exact same thing in terms of dimension, so I don't know that that matters. I think the Foxtrot and Lima types of accessories and holsters are gonna be the same because I think they just displace the same shape and size. Now, this holster here, I really like, I haven't tried it yet, but I really like Kydex because it's just, tends to be precise right out of the gate. Now, Concealment Express is the company that provided this. Look. I mean, I should say provided it to me for my money. I paid full retail for it. Looks like they give you a little sticker here. You can put that on things. Uh, Concealment Express has a little book in here and they've got just a ton of stuff here. Now, like I said, the thing I like about Kydex is right out of the gate, ooh, we have more stickers, is you don't have to, you know, break them in, right? They are usually just a great fit. Kydex is molded to a model and it's usually very durable. They're great for being outdoors. You don't have to worry about them getting soaked and deforming. This one is an outside the waistband holster. You can see here, it's got this paddle flap on it, which looks like plastic. I mean, it kind of has a look and feel of Kydex, but you can see here, it's kind of curved. So your belt will go through there. And then there's a couple of uh, tabs right here on the bottom that will hug that bottom edge of your holster. Now I will say, and this is gonna be a little bit of an estimate, but I will say that that that's probably about an inch and a half to an inch and three quarters is probably your max belt uh, height. So two inches is probably not going to fit in there, but you can bring your belt through there. You can see how the, the notch is um, curved right? so you don't have to worry about it kind of having a, a an edge that's going to cut into the belt, but that's going to prevent it from uh, coming up. We have an American flag there, and so that should hang on the belt, and yet it should actually be easier to be able to get this off if you need to. But if you're taking this on a hike or something like that, you don't have to worry about it. Now, what I wanna show you here is it's got a pretty big uh, back panel here, so you don't have to worry about, you know, this rubbing up against, the, the Kydex will be up against your body potentially without necessarily snagging your firearm. Uh, you can see in here, we've got everything recessed. You don't have any screws or anything like that hitting on your weapon. You've got your um, grommet right there, and you could tighten this down, it looks like, with uh, Phillips head screwdriver if you really needed to, but usually what I find is that they're pretty tight and the rubber in there gives this a little bit of play so that, you know, uh, the pistol can go in and out without getting snagged up. So I'm going to just try this out. And as you can see right here, there's a space for either your Lima or your Foxtrot. So we'll just go ahead and slide this in. So I press it all the way in there and you can see there's just a little bit of space. It doesn't quite go to all the way to the edge. So you get a little protection there. You can see that, um, fits into this indentation there perfectly. It takes a little bit of doing to get it all the way in there because I think it's grabbing, you know, the whole uh, Foxtrot right there as well as the front end of the trigger guard. But you can see here, it's hugging the sides pretty nicely. We've got a nice little tunnel here for the sight so that we don't have to worry about that. Um, it's really compact. You can see that the, the tongue back here is basically flush with the, the gun. I mean, and what you don't have to worry about is this thing falling out, right? Obviously, that is not coming out. It took a little doing to push it in. You know, and like I said, you can adjust these if you really need to. Now, if you want to take it out, it's going to be a little easier with the belt holding it down so you can just kind of rip it out and uh, you, you're, the belt is kind of holding that in, taking the pressure. But man, just a really good fit overall. I really, really like it. So this is one of those things where even if you don't have like a thumb release or a button strap going over the back, you know, I think you could take this on a hike, you know, be pretty active, ride horse, whatever you want to do. And you don't have to worry about this sucker falling out and these things can take a beating. And they also really, really protect the gun and the whole trigger guard there is, is uh, covered up. And the best part is if you've got this accessorized with a light, which I really, really like, uh, then you don't have to worry about this not fitting, right? So most of them won't have a space for it. So this is really great. Uh, Concealment Express, I will put a link to this one in the description below if you want to pick one up. Peter Von Panda, out.